Hi, I'm Claire Ligon. I'm Michelle Wilson. And I'm Christine Peach. We are voice specialized speech language pathologists in the Department of Otolaryngology at Johns Hopkins. We partner with voice specialist ENTs called laryngologists to evaluate our patients' voices. Today, we'll take you on a journey to learn more about the basics of voice production and even take a look down the throats of some of our singing speech pathologists. It all starts with a breath. Air from your lungs powers the voice. So you take a breath in and that air then travels up the breathing tube and ultimately is going to get to your voice box at the top, otherwise known as your larynx. Inside our voice box are the vocal cords. Two tiny little muscles that vibrate against each other hundreds of times a second to produce sound. Finally, the spaces and structures in our throat, our nose, and our mouth allow us to shape and amplify those vibrations, and that's how we produce different vocal qualities. As voice specialists, we learn a lot about the voice just by listening, listening to the sound of the voice as well as the patient's story. This gives us some of the most important information in diagnosing a problem. There's also a lot to see when it comes to voices. We look at the breathing, posture, and muscle tension from the outside in order to evaluate our patients. But our secret weapon is called video stroboscopy, which allows us to visualize through the nose peeking from above, the vocal folds and the throat muscles in action. From the inside, you can see vocal cords open wide for breathing and close and vibrate when we want to produce sound. E to hit higher notes, the vocal folds stretch longer and thinner, adding tension to vibrate faster. E To get louder, vocal cords have to hold tight for longer, build up air pressure so they can get bigger vibrations and harder hits. You can see how the shape of the throat will change depending on the types of sounds that we make. These videos give us insight into how we can help our patients. But as performers at heart, we can also have a little bit of fun. Here's Michelle myself, and Lindsay, one of our fantastic graduate students, enjoying the joys of laryngeal acapella. If you're having trouble with your voice and would like to see your vocal cords in action, come see us at the Johns Hopkins Voice Center.